morning everybody so in this particular video you're gonna start off by seeing my face and then after that you're not gonna see me again don't worry you're not gonna see this ugly mug again but I have I was given some cast iron over the Christmas over Christmas now <laughs> I have to restore both of them it might sound a little weird this is a brand new pan like this one here I don't know how well you guys can see it because I don't have a close-up but this is how I normally see people's cast iron in their house unless there's somebody like me and they know how to care for cast iron and love cast iron because if you love your cast iron your cast iron will love you oh you guys can see it down the bottom corner here you can see the other one I'm gonna be restoring yes I'm gonna get into that one in a minute we're gonna talk about this one so here you can see let me hang on the lighting oh the lighting in my kitchen okay oh there we go okay so this dark black you see here that's actually the um, the manufacturer seasoning and you can see it's gray everywhere else that's because okay so and you can see here there's some of the, the original seasoning is still on the pan here sorry guys the lighting in my kitchen is horrid um, you can still see it here then uh, then you got the back of it you can see here you can see that pitting that is actually from overheating it um from not caring from it properly and it being overheated oh, one moment please my jelly was done I had to turn it off okay but anyway so you can see there it's um it's all pitted and it, like I said this is from not cleaning it properly and it being overheated now I know that this was never thrown into a fire okay yes somebody asked me about that can I fix my cast iron pan like this one here I'm going to show you actually here I'll just show you can I fix this yes you can see this is a this is a walk it's a small one it is rusted it is yeah it's just it needs help but can I fix this by putting it into a open fire no do not do that do not because what you're going to do is you're going to heat crack it these are only made to go up to a certain temperature even these are no different than a wood stove you would not crank your wood stove up over the set temperature because it will eventually start to give um no different no different okay these do have a heat sensitive like area but we'll get into this type of cast iron and restoring this in a separate video but i just want to show you guys <sighs> this is going to be another project but this video we're talking about this this type of uh, fixing it a lot of times you'll see this in um, um secondhand stores or even um habitat stores i found some cast iron habitat stores but i normally leave it when i find it there and there's a reason for that and i'll get into that when i'm talking about that cast iron pan but you can even see i don't know how well if it will pick up on here let me see if I can I think it's just other oh, maybe I don't know but um it's pitted even all the way through in the handle and it is just from improper care um, you can even see I don't know if you can see that on the bottom how it's red there that is a somewhat rust but that's actually from it not being cared for properly the person had a electric stove and they weren't seasoning the bottom of the pan and this will happen if it's not being seasoned properly and you're using it on an electric stove um, I think I've just covered everything so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish cleaning out my sink and get it filled with some nice hot soapy water and we will be back okay I think I have you at a good enough angle where I can still do stuff oh, I might need to put you on a different angle we'll see but I got my sink full of nice hot water oh it's not full enough <laughs> I need more water in there with some soap I have my gloves yes I know they're neon pink I apologize I have a latex allergy so I can't use the yellow ones I had to find the ones that are PVC um so much fun they always have to put them in stupid bright colors for some reason um also I have eh, eh, sorry I have these these are great little things these are stainless steel sponges they are great I love these over the SOS pads or steel wool 
because number one, they're easy to hang on to, they don't get stuck in your fingers, and oh, they don't rust, and they're easy to clean. But I used to get them at my local dollar store. They are fantastic for this project. Now, would I normally do this with cast iron? Oh, goodness gracious, no. But because I need to clean this and get all that, I wanna get a lot of that stuff off of it as much as I can, the simple way, we're gonna do this. We're gonna let that soak for just a little bit so that way stuff can kind of loosen up and then we're going to go in with the steel wool but we'll be back in a few moments because that needs to sit just for a little bit okay i'm hoping this angle works so i'm just getting my gloves on here now you, i don't know if you guys can see the be oh yeah you can the beading that's the oil that they put on it that's kind of coming off now we're just gonna a lot of the times see you can see how easy let me see if I can get this where you guys can see it uh, kind of but I'm gonna take this I'm gonna go along the entire thing a lot of the times it doesn't take much because not everybody actually realizes that cast iron is gray. It's not black. It is gray. Okay, this is all I'm going to do for the next little while. And of course, working on the back of it to get all of that built up stuff removed. I don't think you guys really want to see this entire thing. But this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing. So, I will bring you guys back when I'm a little further along on this. Okay, so I've just got it scrubbed pretty good, but I want to dry it. <clears throat> oh, my throat all of a sudden and check and see how it's looking because I'm having some problems getting the stuff off of the back of it see it's coming off but it's not really huh it's got on there pretty darn good let me see I don't know if I can show you guys this or not you see it will focus Okay, there you guys can see that that pitting in that there I'm trying to get rid of that because that I just don't want because stuff can get stuck in there water can get stuck in there and it can get rusted so looks like I have a little bit more work to do on this but that's what you want to do you just want to keep checking it see the inside I pretty much have it where I want it it's all flat like, yeah, there's still some of that old seasoning. Well, I got to work on it a little bit there, but I have most of it off. So, back to the sink I go. Okay, I found a solution that's working. <laughs> so, I want to show you guys, in case you guys were curious if rust actually did form in those. You can see that, that this color is, that powder, that, yeah, that's rust that is stuck inside the little pivot holes from the seasoning not being on it properly now the pan's dry sorry guys I'm really out of breath um, now that it's dry I'm taking a dry um, stainless steel sponge and I'm just going over it and it's really doing some work at that so I'm just gonna keep going at this and I'll bring you guys back. I thought I'd show you guys that little little tip. It works. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm pulling out the big guns. I'm pulling out sandpaper. Now, I am not going to use sandpaper on the inside of the cast iron pan because this is pretty much like there's still a little bit, but I can I know I can get that with the steel wool. But this, oh boy, it's um it's really on there so I have a very fine grade sandpaper it's a hundred I believe it's a hundred um, 
and I go, I'm not going to do it on here because that noise will probably drive some people insane, but I'm just going to do it in the circle motion until I can get the outside um, file down just to get that layer of seasoning off of it because there's so much rust inside that layer of seasoning that I want to get as much of it off as I can. So I'll bring you guys back in just a few moments. Okay. So after a couple goes of sanding, I have now got that, that layer. Let's see if I can get focus on it. You think, think I can? There we go. So you can see I've got most of it gone. Looks pretty rough because you're it's now seeing the rust on it. And oh, going too fast, Tina. You're going too fast. Okay. Anyway, you can see I got it down. I have this all cleaned up. There's still spots of the original um, seasoning on it. I really don't care. That doesn't bother me because by the time I'm done, you won't even be able to tell. So there we go, all nicely cleaned up. Now I'm just going to put this into my oven the way it is and get it hot and then we'll start the seasoning. So we'll be back once I have this hot. All right, so now this is good and hot. It's fully dried out. It's been in the oven heating up for about 20 minutes. Now what I wanna do is I use shortening you can use whatever oil you want. Please don't think that you have to use the, um, what is it, flaxseed oil, or you have to use shortening, or you have to use, use what you want to use. Now you're going to get that. <laughs> That's because it's unseasoned cast iron. And you want to put a nice thin layer on every time. I have my oven set at, oh, what is that, it's at 450, nice and hot. I have a window cracked open. I have a fan running. Sorry, I'm filling my sink because I have another cast, I'm working on that other cast iron pan. Now you wanna make sure you get everything when you're seasoning. The handles, the outside, the inside, the rims, the sides, the nooks, the crannies. You wanna get everything. You don't wanna leave extra. You want it to be a nice coat. You gotta build it up. I'm just gonna flip that over and yes I try and get as many uses out of my uh, paper towel as I can before I throw it away so what we're doing is we're just building up the seasoning layers to make it a non-stick cooking surface you can see there was rust I don't know if, how well you can see that but uh, my paper towel just went red now I'm getting all of the nooks, all of the crannies. I'm getting everything. Okay, now I'm probably gonna do this at least four, five, ten, who knows how many times. So I will bring you guys back and I'll let you know how many, how many times it went to get it all re-seasoned. Okay, and here you go. You can see the final result. It's a little more red than I would like, but that's okay. It's very well seasoned. I have 10 coats on here. You can see that lovely, shiny, reflective surface. Isn't that much nicer looking than what it was before? Yes. So there you go. It's quite easy to restore cast iron and to get it good and seasoned. And then afterwards, it's just a coat of seasoning every time you use it after that. And make sure you heat it up and it will stick and it will love you forever as long as you love it. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will be talking to you again really soon. Bye.